Hello, hello, this is Melissa, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make your own business card. I'm going to start from the very beginning from buying my own clip art. I'm going to go through creating a business card sized graphic in PicMonkey.com, and then I'm going to go over to Vistaprint and show you how to upload your graphic into their business card section to make your own unique card. Uh, first, I want to ask for a little uh, a little patience because today, as I'm doing this tutorial, it is January 1st, the first day of the new year. We've had a busy couple of weeks around here with a couple of kids being out of preschool, and I'm really just kind of tired and whacked out. So, if I ramble a little bit, feel free to skip that part. Um, feel free to skip through any of the video. If you already know where to get clip art or you already know what you're going to use, if you know how to use PicMonkey but you've never used Vistaprint, just skip on throughout the video and use it however you need to. So, the first thing I do is I go to Etsy. Uh, two of my businesses on Etsy, which are, one is an embroidery shop and the other one is a digitizing shop. And they both have names, uh, they're both named after bees or bumblebees. And so, when I first wanted to make my own business cards, I started looking for bumblebee clip art. I think I actually typed in cute bumblebee clip art and this came up. Cute bumblebee clip art. Um, I like to shop on Etsy because I have two Etsy shops and I like to support other small businesses and other uh, people who um, who have shops on Etsy. So I bought this clip art and it comes with PNG files which are what you want because they have a transparent background. So when you use them for your business cards or if you want to make a watermark or whatever, you know that it has a transparent background. So I purchased this B clip art. It comes in a zip file. You download it right off of Etsy right after your purchase. And then you unzip that file and save the little each little individual picture to your computer. Each of these is a different picture. This bee flying is his own little file. The bee sitting on a leaf is his own file. And, um, oh, before I move on, another thing to check when you buy clip art on Etsy, you want to be sure to read their policies or the way they want you to use their clip art. You don't want to buy something and use it in a way that they wouldn't approve, just like you wouldn't want someone to buy uh, one of your digital files or um, something like that and use it in a way that you wouldn't want them to use it. So right here, this seller says, these graphics are intended for personal and small business use. Please read the terms for allowed uses here. And it gives you a link to their policy. Always check that out. You just want to do right by other small business people, just like you want people to do right by you. So check that out. And I think I even messaged this seller when I first bought these and made sure I could use them on business cards. And she said, yeah. So now you've got your your clip art saved in a folder where it's easily accessible. You're going to hop over to PicMonkey, P-I-C-M-O-N-K-E-Y.com. I have a paid PicMonkey account and I love it. It's well worth it. You don't have to have one. You can do any basic function that I'm going to show you with just the free website. I think if it's free, I think it has ads along the bottom. And also, you don't have access to some of the clip art, overlays, fonts, that kind of thing. But you can do the basics here for free. So you go up here to Design, and you're going to click over here to Custom. And the custom size that you're going to use, this is a little tip that I had to learn or figure out by Googling and searching it, but I'll give you this information. The custom size you want is 1085 by 635. Click make it. And there you go. This is your business card template. Now, if you're really smart and you know you want to use this in the future, you can click on don't do anything yet and click on save. Go to a folder in your computer and save it in a folder maybe with some of your other graphics that you use. You can see here that I have a bunch of business cards um, with different things. One of them has my phone number on it. One of them doesn't. But I have right here biz card template. So I don't have to remember any of those. Um, I don't have to remember the dimensions or anything when I want to make a new business card. So this is the fun part. This is where you get to design whatever you want to be on your card. 
I'll give you a couple of tips. One, when you upload into Vistaprint, they cut off a lot off of the edge of your card. So I wouldn't, see where my cursor is? I wouldn't go past maybe right here. You want to put all of your stuff in the, towards the center of your card because they do have like a danger zone where they're not going to print up to the very edge of your card. And two, don't put a ton of teeny tiny stuff uh, like fonts or um, if you have a link to your website, make sure it's a font that people can read. Remember, older, younger people, people with glasses, I mean, you know, you want your fonts and your, um, your links to your shop and your little logo, if you have a logo, you want these to be legible to the people you're handing your card to or it's pointless. So, here's the fun part. There's a million places you can start. If you want to start with fonts and you really want to put your name on it first and see how that's going to look before you shop for your um, clip art or put your logos on there, Go on here over to the T, that's for the text, and look at all these awesome fonts that PicMonkey comes with. Now if you see that little crown, this is a, it says right here, this is a Royale feature. That's something I pay for. If you're using the free account, you won't see the, some of the fonts. But as you can see, there are plenty of free ones to choose from. One of my favorite ones is right here, Coffee Break. But I'll go with one of the free ones in case you're using a free account. So you click on the font you want, and then you click Add Text. There it is. So I'm going to type Melissa Harris. I want my name. First thing people see. Remember, think about how big this is going to be on a business card. So there's my name. I'm going to give myself a good bumper right there against the edge because this is probably going to be cut off by Vistaprint. And let's add, let's do a different font. How about one of my favorites, Coffee Break. Designs by littlebee.etsy.com. Make that big. I want people to see that website. And this font, I think cof the Coffee Break font that I've got right here, I think could be a little busy, especially for a link. You want people to be able to really read that link because you want them to go shop in your store. So let's change that one. Let's change it over to good dog. There. That's a little more legible. So when someone's holding that card, I want them to see that website prominently. Okay. I like that how it is. So let's go over to overlays. And there are tons of little overlays, or it's kind of, that's kind of their, their clip art. Let's go Victorian labels. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, no, it's got skull and crossbones on it. Oh, never mind. Let's do this one. <laughs> I'm not a fan of skulls and crossbones. Oh, I really like this overlay. Isn't that pretty? So, oh no, my font went away. Where did my words go? Well, I'll tell you. Click on your overlay, right click on it, and click send to back. And it's still black, so let's go make it yellow. And then you'll see, I sent it to the back behind my text. So in this way, you can build layers of text and layers of graphics and clip art and just keep clicking. You can click, click on it and you can do send backwards, send forward, send front, send back. PicMonkey is so great because you can undo things that you did. You can delete, move around layers. I really wish you could save it with the layers so that you could come back and change things later on, which you can't. When you save that sucker, it is flattened out and you can't change any of this. But I keep suggesting it to them and I hope one day they're going to do it. So now I'll show you how to use the clip art. Let's say I don't like that anymore. Goodbye. Now I'm going to show you how to use the clip art that you got from um, that you just purchased on Etsy or from any other website. I'm going to go to Honeybee. 
If you see here, I've got some digital papers. Digital papers are, I mean, just prepare from, you know, on the edge of your seat. It's a paper that's a digital file. It's just a square that has a, a design or a pattern on it. You can use it for backgrounds, for um, like note cards, if you print out note cards at Walgreens or someplace. Make it as big as you want and look, now it's just, it's simply a background. And it's not wide enough. Ah! Okay, but look, it's in front of my font again. So I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to click Send to Back. There you go. And now I want to add one of those cute bees that I just, that I bought from that Etsy shop. So I'm going to go to Your Own. Go back to where you, wherever you have your cute bees. And... I want the leaf. So, oh my goodness, there's my bee. Isn't he adorable? Let's put him right there. Uh-oh, don't get too close to the edge. I'm going to right click on him and I'm going to say send backward. That just sends him back through one layer. So he's not he didn't go all the way behind my digital paper. Okay, so obviously this isn't like the best business card ever, but let's say that I'm finished. I like the way it looks. I want to upload it to Vistaprint. So you click Save. You go over to Save to my computer. And I'm going to go over to where I save my business card. And I'm going to save it as New Biz Card. Just to give you an example of something that took me about an hour or longer, here's one I worked on this afternoon. This is um, this is the back of my business, my current business card. It has two sides, and you can see I have my logo that I'm also made using PicMonkey, name, a quick description of my business, what it does. I have a shop where you can go uh, a shop link where you can go buy my, my the things that I sell chat that's my email and then share I put my um, my Facebook group so people know where to go to ask questions or get ideas or tips coupon codes that kind of thing so now you go over to Vistaprint this the only this is the only program I've ever used to order business cards, so that's what I'm giving you a tutorial on. If you use something else, knock yourself out. This is how I do it, because they're always having great deals, and you can get business cards for like $10. So, Vistaprint. Click right here on All Products, Business Cards, and I just click on Standard Business Cards. Now, oh, I was already there. <laughs> so, you're given some options. This is a little busy for my for my taste, but don't let it scare you. These are easy options. You can choose browse our designs. That's what you would do if you didn't know what you were going. Um, what if you want to search their designs? You didn't do this whole process I just showed you. Start with your logo, and you can kind of, that that's kind of a half and half. You use their template, and then you bring your logo in. What we're going to do because you have your saved design is use your complete design and you can see it says already have a design upload it and we'll print it so we want that option choose horizontal or vertical and you see right here remember I told you there's a, a danger zone right here it says safety line you see how big that zone is around the edge so now you go over here it says add images from you're going to go to my computer and choose images and here's my new here it is new biz card and it uploads it quickly and you click on it and you drag it over and it pops up and look I did it I did my graphic really well because it doesn't it hasn't cut off any of what I had around the edge And you can see Vistaprint will warn you if your resolution is is too low and it's going to be grainy. 
This one says the image res resolution looks great. So awesome. Now, Vistaprint, one thing that I have taken advantage of in the past is a back side of the business card. I feel like you shouldn't waste the back of the card because, um, you know, if somebody drops the card and it's on the back, you just see a white blob. And it costs something like three, four, five extra dollars. It's well worth it. You want that hit people with the front of the card and you want to give them something to look at on the back too. And I'll show you my old, um, the one I had from my embroidery business was, I created this using Vistaprint as well. I mean, using PicMonkey as well. This is what I have on the back of my current business card. It says, Honeybee Workshop, that's my logo, personalized, embroidered, monogrammed, and hand-painted goodies for folks of all ages. That was kind of my little catchphrase. And you can see by the danger zone that I, it doesn't cut off any of the top or bottom in printing. And I love this because the front had all my contact info and the back tell of the card told people what I do. At a glance, less than 20 words, get pe grab people's attention. They see embroidered, they see monogrammed, and they instantly want to know what is this shop? Where can I contact this person? And then they'll flip it to the front. So, so, there, so there's your front side and your back side of your cards. Let's say that's how I wanted it to look. So you click next. If it's not how you wanted it to look, like if, if you got too close to the edge and some of your word was cut out, what words were cut out, you go right back in here to Pick Monkey and you just move those suckers over. Move things around how you want them. Um, it can be a painstaking process, just saving it and then uploading something new and saving it and uploading it something new. But I, it is so worth it when you get those professional looking cards in your hot little hands from Vistaprint. So, there is the front and the back. Here, just to skip forward a little bit and show you the one I've been working on today. When you click Next, Vistaprint gives you the front. It shows you what your business card will look like in someone's hand. And I really, excuse me, this is a new, that's a new feature the past couple of years that they used to not do that I love because this is just, I mean, you can see exactly how it's going to look. Can you read this? Is your font legible? Are, are any graphics or any important letters or, or contacts or words cut off? Here are, here are the way mine are going to look. I have new, I'm printing out new business cards because I have two Etsy shops now that appeal to slightly different customers. The front is my Honeybee Workshop card and that one is my embroidery shop. The second one is my Designs by Little Bee shop, and that is my digitizing shop. This one, Honey Bee Workshop, would sell to anyone who wants something embroidered, like a parent, a new mom wanting something for her baby. The one on the right, which will be on the back or the other side, is a digitizing shop, and that's where I sell to uh, digital designs to my peers who also do embroidery. So I just wanted to be able, instead of carrying two business cards with me at once, I can just hand out one and they can flip it and whichever shop would interest them is the one they can look at. So I'm going to skip forward to this one since this is the design I actually want. The other one was just to, for, to give you an example. So you click, I really like the way both of these look. I love it. So I'm going to go to, I have read and approved my design. Ooh, another one. Make sure your words are all spelled right. Make sure you haven't misspelled your email or your name or something obvious, you know, that will make make you look silly or foolish when you hand out your card. I have re reviewed and approved my design. And once you've done that and your card is uploaded into the Vistaprint system, now it's just a matter of personal preference. What cards are you going, how, what's the quantity, the finish? I'm going to get 250. Oh, and these prices will come down. Always use a coupon code. Don't ever buy anything on Vistaprint without using a coupon code. Now we have the finishes. Ooh, these are new. I've never seen these before. 
blah, 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 no finish, no, I don't need anything that's glossy, I don't need any of that fancy stuff. Paper stock, that's an important one. Uh, do you want it to be matte? You want it to be glossy? Do you want recycled paper? Is that something that you're interested in? Uh, signature linen has it has a textured kind of finish. Signature matte is just thicker and signature glossy. These are all two, these two, the signature ones are just thicker. I don't need that. I'll go with plain matte business cards. And then on the Vistaprint website, they will try to sell you on a bazillion things that have your logo or the things you just uploaded, I say no. And then you go to your cart and that's where you can put in your coupon. Oh, and here I also have a mouse pad because I got a new desktop for Christmas. And so I made a graphic for my mouse pad. So there you see, there's the um, coupon code that was already uploaded. So, and then it's just a matter of, then it, from here on out, it's just personal preference. What shipping speed do you want? What processing speed do you want? I'm in no hurry, so I do the cheapest. I will give you a, a tip about Vistaprint. They, I mean, in my experience, they're way faster than their promoted times. Maybe it depends on the time of the year that I've ordered. I don't know. But I've paid for like two week processing and I've and a week shipping and I've gotten my cards in like seven or eight days. So it, it's just personal preference how fast you need them or want them. If you're in no hurry, go with the cheap route. And I think that's it. From here on out, it's just making your own decisions about the quantity and the shipping speed that you want. And I think that's it. I think I've guided you through the whole process. If you have any questions or comments you can leave them under the video I try to respond to comments that I get or if you're feeling froggy you can always email me right here at this email designs by little b at gmail.com and I'll try to get back with you and help you um, but I hope that this tutorial has made sense to you I hope that you made it through all the looks like almost 23 minutes now but I hope it was helpful and uh, it, it is, it can be a lot of work in the beginning to get used to all these, to the different websites, but once you do it, the result is so worth it to hand people something when you're out in public and they ask for your card and you hand them something that they've never seen before. It's not anyone else's template. It's unique to you and it's worth the, you know, hour that you spend fiddling with all the little, um, clip arts and fonts and, and all that stuff. So I hope this has been helpful. And I wish you happy stitching and good luck in your business. Bye.